it's actually a shame that I didn't finish this. This one's especially embarrassing because it very much humbled me and I was like, oh, I actually don't know how to draw anything. There wasn't much to see on this page, just a pastry. <laughs> Moving on. I do not like what's going on here. It's just so like, ah, don't look at this. Sometimes I put things that, oh, there's something in there. What is, what is that? Hold on a sec. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so this is. So I decided the order I'm going to do this in is sort of by size, so I'm going to start with the biggest one. So this is a... Quick pause, I did record an intro for this video, but the footage is still on my camera because for some reason I forgot to move that footage over to my computer. And I'm away from home right now and I will be for a little while, and I just wanted to get this video out, so apologies that we're just jumping right into it today, but um, hi, I'm May, here I'm showcasing my unfinished sketchbooks, so please enjoy! Strathmore 500 series mixed media paper, and yeah, obviously soft cover. This is a really nice book. It's actually a shame that I didn't finish this. I do have another one of these, but I kind of feel bad starting a whole new one without having this one finished. For some reason, finishing this one sort of feels like ruining the integrity of it somehow in like this era, but I don't know. I feel like it's just my brain makes up really silly excuses not to <laughs> do very simple things like finish a basic sketchbook. So kind of like with all the sketchbooks, I very well just might finish all of them eventually, but as they are now in the state that they are now, I feel comfortable just kind of showcasing them. Okay, so stickers. I got a lot of questions about the stickers on my other sketchbooks, so let me very clearly and plainly tell you where I got all the stickers on this one, just as a courtesy to you guys. Kayami, 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 Lee Ellickson, Kayami. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it right, but Tiffany Hoyne, Ocean in Space, Love Soup, Egg Butter Toast. It looks like it has an Instagram handle here. Hosanna Revival. Lee Ellickson. And Lee Ellickson. Oh, probably Tiffany Hoyne. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and open it up. So with all of my sketchbooks, I would always put an if found please return to section as if this book is actually going to leave my living space at all because I don't take my sketchbooks out in public. I have designated out and about sketchbooks for that or one. It's actually right here. <laughs> this is the sketchbook I take if I like go out and about and yeah, that sort of mitigates the need for me to bring any larger sketchbook I'm working in out and about. So <laughs> yeah, but I had to like go and like cover them all up obviously. But yeah, so April 17th, 2021, this book was started and I sort of here like customized the first page by just like things I wanted to practice and stuff and yeah, just little personal notes. So I started with some cats. That's like a very common thing for me to start my sketchbooks with. These are my parents' cats and this is my husband's parents' cat. Honestly, I really love everything that's in this sketchbook. I love this phase that I was in of of like very colorful, bright um, watercolor, colored pencil. And this is all colored pencil. I was really proud of this. I remember this wasn't referenced or anything. I just got this random image in my head of a lemon branch just like this. I don't even know if this is like anatomically correct of a lemon tree. <laughs> That's that and various boba, a panda from Kayami, random animals, a panther, a possum. You've probably definitely seen this spread before if you follow me on Instagram. So this spread is a combination of just like a swatch of my Meiliang watercolors and Red Panda and nature. These kinds of like nature spreads I remember were very inspired by Lee Ellickson's style of work. I just love how she combines watercolor and colored pencil. So I was practicing a lot of that here. A lot of cute stuff going on on this page. I really like this spread. <laughs> so this is sort of like a foresty scene, strawberry house, mushroom people, and this was like quite literally scribbles to begin with and like just a huge blob of color that I turned into a dragon and I remember being so proud of it at the time and I still am like super proud of that. And then we have like random sea creatures and stuff. I think I did this a lot on this page by turning blobs into actual things and creatures. A lot of practice with that. That's a good way to fill pages in your sketchbook too if you don't have a clear idea of what you want to draw. If you just start with blobs of color, more than likely inspiration will come in one way or another. So the paper quality in this sketchbook too is really good and it makes the colors really bright. Like I really miss working in this book. Okay, so contrary to what I just said, like, oh, if you just put down blobs of color, like it'll look good. So this is a spread where it didn't look good for me. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? 
this actually very well just might be like the palette that I used to paint this. So this was a screenshot study from Animal Crossing New Horizons with gouache, I believe. And I wouldn't actually be surprised if I was kind of swatching my paint on one page and then painting on the other. And then eventually I just went back and turned it into a proper tree. So maybe that's what happened here. So this is when I went to a painting party at a friend's house and this is actually painted by my sister. I was really happy that she did that, I don't know, I was so happy. I like having other people drawing my sketchbook, it's, I don't know, it makes it so special. I don't know, I like it. I let her borrow my sketchbook because she didn't have like, I think she wanted to practice with something, I don't remember, but it was, yeah, it was fun. And this page, I am not proud of in the least bit. I do not like what's going on here, it's just so like, ah. It's just so much. This is a medium I don't really use that often. I believe this was, what an interesting combination. I tried to use oil pastels and gouache together on top of each other. And hey, that's what your sketchbook is for. Experimentation and combining different mediums that you don't usually use and practicing. But sometimes it just doesn't look good, but that's okay. <laughs> this was never meant to see the light of day, but I'm showing it to you guys today as a treat, just as a little treat. It's not like that bad. Like I feel like the more I look at it, the more it's like, oh, that's kind of cute. And that's where this one ends. This Strathmore Mixed Media sketchbook, soft cover, highly recommend. It is. It was such a pleasure to work in and I look forward to working in it again. I just might finish this one or, you know, the smart decision would be to finish this one, not to start the other one. <laughs> Any of these, if I go back and finish them, I will be doing tours for them again. However, they will just remain Patreon exclusive just because again, I'm not the most comfortable showing off like my full completed sketchbooks just to the public. I, I like that a little bit more private if I can help it. So yeah, any of these sketchbooks after they're completed will just be Patreon exclusive. So I hope you understand about that. But so anyway, we're moving on to this one. And this one's especially embarrassing because I wanted this book to be... So the Strathmore Mixed Media, it was my next sketchbook in my series of sketchbooks. But after that one, I decided, oh, let me actually just do a bunch of sketchbooks with a bunch of different goals in mind. And so this was part of that collection. And this mini Canton Mixed Media, I decided I wanted this to kind of be very like indulgent and sort of like recapture the essence of like being in middle school and sort of exploring fan and stuff and just drawing a lot of fan art and being like silly and stuff. But anyway, let's get on to the stickers. All from here up is Lee Ellickson. Oh, and this too. This is all Lee Ellickson, Kayami, Tiffany Hoyne, Egg Butter Toast. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this I started in November of 2021. So I started off with Hilda Oritoko from Pokemon Black and White and then N and N with Sorua. So yeah, it's just like, it's really bad. I didn't worry about like being good. I don't know. I didn't worry about things looking good in this sketchbook because I wanted it to be super indulgent. And again, I wasn't really anticipating anyone to like see it. <laughs> and so here we have little sketches of Adamant and Irida from Pokemon Legends Arceus and then randomly Claire from Harvest Moon <laughs> or Story seasons. And that is it! <laughs> I hope you weren't overestimating the amount of like pages I would have filled in these sketchbooks. When I said unfinished sketchbook tour, I quite literally meant an unfinished sketchbook tour. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that one. Let's move on. Next one I will show you today is this Strathmore Sketch 400 series. I really like these kinds of sketchbooks. This is one of my earlier kind of sketchbooks I used to have, like some of the first ones I ever dabbled with when I like started to draw on actual sketchbooks because when I was a kid I didn't really draw on sketchbooks. I sort of just drew on lined notebook paper. This is a really nice, it doesn't handle wet media that well of course because it's just meant to be a sketch, graphite sketchbook, like sketch and ink. This is also a rare one that I like didn't decorate at all. I decided this book would be my messy sketchbook. I think that's part of the reason why I didn't decorate it was because I wanted this one to be like my quote-unquote ugly sort of sketchbook, like just studies and graphite ink, not caring about smudging, not caring about how things look, because like just studying and stuff. I made concerted efforts to not put any sort of color basically in the sketchbook. I just wanted to challenge myself with graphite and ink. Yeah, it was around November 2021 when I started to do this whole specialized sort of sketchbook adventure that didn't work out too well. 
And yeah, just like some things I wanted to practice here. And so I started out this spread with this girl that I saw on TikTok that I literally thought she was just like the prettiest girl that I had ever seen. So I, from, these are all like shots from that specific one TikTok that I saw of her. Yeah, just sort of studying her from different angles. I think I actually went through her page and looked at other TikToks of hers and I don't know her name or anything, but um, if you happen to see this, like, hi, I drew you, I hope you like it. <laughs> but I, I like to just draw random people and like practice. And here I have a lot of hand practice and, you know, general anatomy, torso, figure. I feel like this is something that I'm still working on, but especially when I'm doing studies, I feel like I do them too, like, finished and too polished. I need to learn to be more looser. Like, I feel like I'm afraid to, like, make things that don't look nice, and I feel like that hinders me a lot, so that's something I'm, like, working on to this day. This is a little bit better from what I just talked about, like this very rough, very quick, just, you know, studies of the form of the cat. And then this reference from Pinterest that ever since I referenced it, I like started to see it everywhere and I'm like, oh, I'm not the first or last person to, <laughs> to use this reference. This was my boyfriend at the time, he's now my husband. So these are some line of action studies. So from lineofaction.com, I studied like some figure poses, animals. I did like a class mode, which means the first few references I see are very quick. And then as it progresses, the references stay on the screen for longer. So it goes from 30 seconds to like a minute to like five minutes or something. So this was fun to practice. I love this dog, how it turned out. <laughs> And then more figure practice and I covered this up because I wasn't sure like how sensitive YouTube's monetization policies are with like artistic nudity and stuff so I just covered that up just in case but that's also like a fig like a from the back sort of figure study. <laughs> yeah very messy very like there's a lot of graphite I have to be careful with, with where I, I touch on the pages because I could rub off on my fingers especially when I start using charcoal and stuff too. More hand studies and some people here too and a bunch of plant studies. I think this was the point where I was working on my webcomic and I got to a point where there were a lot of plants in the webcomic, so I wanted to like practice drawing a lot of different kinds of plants. Field research and all that. That's a good page, but there wasn't much to see on this page, just a pastry. <laughs> Moving on. Here we have a girl and another girl, very likely from Pinterest. And then you'll recognize this too also if you follow me on Instagram because this was a reel that I did. The whole like Mean Girls quote thing. I, this was really fun to do <laughs> and I really like how it turned out. So if you like look on my Instagram page and scroll down on my reel section that you'll you'll find it. And this was another reel that I did. This was the silly little art challenge <laughs> where I drew a character from memory, left hand, 10 seconds, eyes closed, one line, and with a reference. It very much humbled me and I was like, oh, I actually don't know how to draw anything without a reference after all. <laughs> this is like webcomic and manga and planning and stuff. I think this is actually a Patreon only comic that I was planning, so let me just skip past this part. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I started using it to plan my Patreon exclusive comics and stuff, but that unfortunately is the end of this sketchbook. I think with this sketchbook's life cycle, I might continue it as a very like webcomic page drafting sort of sketchbook. That's what I like using these types of sketchbooks for. But that's that one. Okay, moving on. This sketchbook is so special because I got it from Williams at Anime NYC one year. I like put off using this sketchbook for so long, I wanted it to be so special, and I'm so sad that it had to end up in this pile of unfinished sketchbooks. But definitely, I absolutely want to come back to this because this sketchbook is one of the best quality sketchbooks I've ever worked with, quite literally. It handles wet media perfectly without buckling. It handles markers without bleeding through. I mean, maybe I'm like remembering it more optimistically than it, it was, but I remember it being a very good sketchbook. Okay, also, some of the most common questions asked about the stickers on my Sketchbook 7 cover were from Spicy Mochi. So yes, if you recognize this style of cat and you see this style of cat sticker on any of my other sketchbooks, it is from Spicy Mochi and so are these two stickers. So yeah, I started this one in March of 2022 and I think I was deciding to go back to all-in-one sketchbook method with this one, but unfortunately it just didn't stick. I was really sad about that because it's such a good sketchbook, but I absolutely will be returning to this because that would be like the biggest waste in the world if I like stopped using this for good. So this is a Mossery sketchbook and I believe it is the mixed media Mossery sketchbook. I think it's cool the way it works too because the sketchbook itself is removable. So when I fill it, I can just buy a new Mossery sketchbook and kind of fill it with this cover that Williams did. So I thought that was really cool. 
So the first page here is very bright. There's a lot of things going on. A lot of watercolor practice mostly on this one. Colored pencil, just like a beautiful mosaic of color, but not much to say about it beyond that. Speaking of mosaics of color, the next page is even brighter. <laughs> I was in a very bright period in my life, I guess, at this point. I honestly really, really love this spread so much. Like, I could probably stare at this all day. <laughs> if I made prints of my sketchbook pages, this would definitely be a print. There's just, I, there's just so much chaos and nothing too concrete about it, but there's, I just love something about it. I don't know. And this is an OC that I made, but I haven't really done anything with her, but her name is Pink. Like, Pink Lady Apples, her name is Pink. This sketchbook was very bright. I was very much like exploring color when I worked in the sketchbook. Tamagotchi. This is from Fire Emblem. No, not Fire Emblem. Rune Factory 5. <laughs> Priscilla. And then we have Gil and Angela or Gil and Akari from Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons. So that is where that ends. <laughs> that is where this sketchbook ends. But yeah. I don't remember, I don't recall like specifically what kinds of mediums were which. It's just like, it looks like a lot of color to me. It looks like mostly watercolor, but there, I know for sure there's definitely some markers in here. Believe me that alcohol markers set really well here and they like don't blend. Actually, why don't we test it out right now? I haven't, <laughs> all right, we're gonna, we're gonna test this today right now. Don't look at this. <laughs> so we're gonna take one of my Ohuhu alcohol markers and we're gonna test it because I don't want to just say things and it like not be true. <laughs> So we're going to take a nice orange and we're going to take the brush side and we're going to test this little corner and we're not even going to put anything down on the other side. Impromptu field test. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it bleeds a little bit, but it handles really good though, other than that. <laughs> Despite it like bleeding a little bit, trust me that it is a pleasure to work in. The color shows up so brightly. I just, I'm real. I still really like the sketchbook. <laughs> Maybe I was remembering it more optimistically than it actually was, but excellent sketchbook. I think it's the Mossery Mixed Media, and yeah, really cool artist who designed the cover. She was really, really sweet too. Meeting her in person was such a pleasure. She was like, even though it was a very brief interaction, I could tell she's like a very genuine and nice person. So yeah, shout out to Lilliams. All right, next. To conclude today's video, this will be the last unfinished sketchbook I show you. It's the last unfinished sketchbook I have. I really, really like this one. I'm glad I saved it for last because it's actually the farthest I have gotten in any of these sketchbooks. And I kind of really like what's inside this sketchbook. At the time, I really hated it. And I think that's part of the reason why I stopped working in it because I was getting really discouraged. But looking back, I actually am fond of what I put in here. So these stickers are a mix of Tiffany Hoyne and Cherry Rabbit. Again, I covered up personal information because I don't know why I kept doing that as if there was ever a chance that I would ever like actually lose these sketchbooks out in public and someone would need to contact me. And then I just did a whole list of like sort of took inventory of all the media that I own because <laughs> I wanted to really like make sure I wasn't like leaving anything out and practicing with everything I had. This spread you definitely have seen before if you follow me on Instagram. And this is part of the reason why I don't share my sketchbooks in public because I do a lot of studying of different artists and I draw a lot of people like on TikTok and stuff and I study different styles and stuff. More often than not, I put people's acts down so I like remember who I referenced and like give credit to the artist or the person whose face I drew. However, I don't do that for every single thing because these are like my personal sketchbooks and I don't really intend for like the masses to see them. So if you happen to see something and it looks very similar to something else, just know that I'm not trying to copy anyone. I'm just studying styles that inspire me and if I forget to put the artist's handle down or something, you're welcome to put it in the comments or something if you want to say like, oh hey, at this timestamp is this person's work, that's really cool or something, I don't know. But yeah, no, just keep that in mind that I'm not just trying to like draw other people's work and claim it as my own or something, like I, absolutely not. Again, these are just my private sketchbooks. But yeah, with that disclaimer out of the way, we will continue. Just studying Ellen Tori and I'll see from TikTok. Various animals, cat, possum. Again, like this whole general phase of my life, I really was going through a colorful phase in my life during this general 2021 time period. I say that and then we <laughs> flip to a monochrome spread. So I put this down just so none of it would smudge or anything because I was really proud of this spread. It is a mix of ink and graphite, just a bunch of studies of the human form, hands, people. I like how it turned out a lot. 
Next we have OC creation and stuff. These are some OCs that I've been drawing for a really long time and I definitely want to put them in a story but their story is undeveloped at this point let me just say that and I love how this it's like um it's like a bobcat or something but I love how it turned out. I think it was super satisfying. So I think I just did it with colored pencils but just the way I did it was very just looks so satisfying and she's a serval OC and then this is also a serval up here looking up at a smaller cat. I taped this I guess because I really wanted to conceal whatever was on those two pages I guess I wasn't happy with them. These two pages I'm also like eh about. It's just a lot of, I can tell I wasn't very inspired during this time. I just sort of was trying to find something to draw. But Cairo made her way in here and she always brightens up my sketchbook spread. She's my comfort OC. Chaos to the fullest extent of the word on this spread, plus some swatching. I think I got color race pencils here so I was swatching them. And then just some art style studies. Hatsune Miku, the supernova girls, and Kiki. Definitely just a lot of unapologetic drawing what I like. Very indulgent. And this is a spread of Fee, who is my Animal Crossing New Leaf Mare OC, who is also a huge raver and partier. She's super cool and I love drawing her. I gotta draw her more because she makes me so happy and every time I listen to like very bass heavy techno music, very like fast paced or nightcore music, I always think of her. <laughs> and this is a blob, save for these two cats down here. You can kind of tell, and like I feel like the these last couple of pages we looked at, I was starting to really like lose my motivation. There was something about this book, maybe because this is, oh I forgot to say, this is a Moleskine sketchbook and I think my previous two sketchbooks at the time were Moleskine and I think I was actually really getting tired of it. I thought it was like my staple sketchbook and I did really like working in this sketchbook when I did, but I think at this point I was really getting tired of working in this particular sketchbook and I don't think I was happy with just the shape of it and how the mediums were interacting with the paper and also just at this period of my life too, I was in a very creative low, so a perfect storm of not finishing the sketchbook. However, we put more in this sketchbook than any of the other ones so far, so a little sort of pond type thing, these fruit balloons. Character creation practice. She doesn't have a name or anything, but she's just probably inspired by a lotus flower or something. I'm not really sure what kind of plant she was inspired by. <laughs> This was artwork that I referenced from Pinterest and this like really scary looking cat. This is the last page in this sketchbook and the reason I know that this is the last two pages in the sketchbook is because of the little message that I just noticed down here and it says koko made owari, mata ato de ne, which means there is absolutely nothing left in here. Sometimes I put things that- oh there's something in there. What is- <laughs> hold on a sec. Oh interesting okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, so this is <laughs> this is a bunch of art style inspiration that I printed out. I, I'm not gonna show it on camera, it's just a bunch of artists whose styles like really inspire me. But wow, I, I totally forgot I made this. I'm overdue for making another one. Anyway, I'll put that away. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed seeing these sketchbooks being toured, even if they weren't complete. I hope you got some pleasure out of just seeing the very minimal contents that are in this collection of sketchbooks. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. If you like what I make and you're interested in what I do, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos, or you can check me out in my other social medias in the description. Thank you again for all of your support and watching my videos this year and really encouraging me as I sort of get moving back into starting my art journey again. <laughs> I really appreciate it and I hope that I can likewise inspire and motivate you to get back into art as well. Thank you again for watching and I hope the end of the year treats everyone well and I hope everyone enjoys the beginnings of 2024 which is just around the corner. Alright well thank you for watching, bye!